In our promotion of this system, we have come across two key barriers to windrow burning in central New South Wales. The first is a belief that windrow burning can take some time to do. And the second one, growers struggle with the concept that you can burn windrows and not the whole paddock. This presentation is just about these two key issues. Let's look more closely at the first issue. That it takes a long time to burn windrows. There is a belief among some growers that you have to burn up and down every row. This is not true. I recently spoke to John Stewart, a farmer from Western Australia who has been burning windrows for many years and is the inventor of the AccuFire device that helps speed up the lighting process. Thanks John. Can you please tell me what is the general procedure you use when you burn windrows in your paddock? Well, Scott, if you can imagine having a, a square paddock, 100 hectares, nothing's different with regards to fire safety. So you're looking at putting in containment breaks first. So your layout is neat and trim. The header comb has been on the deck. Windrows are well established. We would light up the two boundary lap to make sure those two windrows are well burnt and that gives us good containment for burning the rest of the paddock. Time input is really getting the containment brakes put in and after that the rest of the paddock can be dealt with even at another time. So we've got that 100 hectare paddock, how long would it take to burn that? I would say it would take about three to four hours. Extremely variable of course if you've got trees and other geography in the paddock it's going to take longer. Square paddock, no trees, no uh, interference, really quite quick and easy. As I talked about earlier, the risk of fire escape is a major hurdle for many growers. This can be mitigated in two ways. Foremost is stubble height. Cutting the crop low is essential to capture all the target weed seeds. The bonus is it also takes excessive fuel load from the crop. Less fuel load in the surrounding crop greatly reduces the chance of fire escaping from the windrow. The other major factor is controlling the intensity of the fire. We do this by lighting across the rows. This allows the flame front to slowly creep along the windrow. In this small demonstration, we lit up about five metres of row. The one on the left, we lit along the row, and the one on the right, we lit from the centre. As you can see, the one on the left burns with much more ferocity, and this is where the fire can get away. Whereas the one on the right, lit from the centre, just trickled along the windrow. This took over five minutes to burn, but we sped it up for the sake of the demo. I asked John Stewart about lighting across the rows. I light them across the rows. Uh, it's part of the um, PARI procedure. There's plenty of data on just letting the fire crawl along the rows so to, to get the required temperature to kill off weed seeds.